thank God I found this XP strategy because grinding camos in multiplayer, half the battle is just leveling up your weapons and using this strategy playing Duran fun, you can actually level up your weapons to, I would say, max level pretty much in just over an hour. I had a friend who's been grinding out some weapons and it only took him just over an hour to go from weapon level zero to weapon level max. I'll go into in depth of how the strategy works. A lot of people seem to know it by now and it's becoming pretty meta to level up weapons, but instead of playing for like three, four hours in multiplayer to get your weapon to max level, you can play one hour of zombies and get your weapon to max level that way. I wasn't planning to play zombies until I completed the atomic camel grind and then I was going to start on the dark aether camel grind, hopefully once a round based zombies map came out. But I'm playing zombies for one reason only and that's because there's this crazy XP strategy. So real quick I'll run down how the XP strategy works. You load into zombies and then you're in like the little hub area on Duran Fong, you kill the couple zombies that are in spawn and then you want to go to the harvest. And then once you go to the harvest you just get enough kills and eliminations to where you get 35 eliminations and you literally just leave the game. You'll get around 2000 XP every time you do this and the fastest I've managed to do this is maybe in like a minute and a half. So in a minute and a half I got 2000 XP. Double XP also does seem to be broken for a lot of people right now so once double XP gets fixed a lot of people are saying that it's like 1.15 XP which is still better than just standard XP. Uh, but double XP is supposedly broken, so once this gets fixed, this strategy is going to be even more overpowered to level up weapons. You just pop your double weapon XP. Uh, if you guys want to know how to get infinite or unlimited weapon XP, check out my video yesterday. Uh, it'll probably be linked in the description as well because you can basically stack infinite amounts of double weapon XP tokens. So if you use one double weapon XP token that lasts an hour, you can go in and max out an entire weapon and then just grind out the camos in multiplayer or zombies depending on what you want to grind. Or if you just want the weapons leveled up for when Caldera comes out for Warzone, you can easily do that as well. This strategy is tedious though, it's very not- it's very mind-numbingly boring. A lot of people that have been doing this strategy and have been talking about it on YouTube have talked about how you basically have to put your brain into autopilot, so what I do is I just kind of throw on some YouTube videos in the background or watch Netflix or watch a podcast and I just sit there for about 30 minutes and grind out camos. I started with the MG42, that's like the gun that I originally tested this out on to see how fast it levels up and a lot of people say that meleeing gets you the most XP and I would have to agree. Um, usually you would think that headshots would get you more XP because when you get a headshot kill you get 35 points and melee kills you only get 20 points but melee kills actually get you more XP, so if you just run around with any weapon in the game, just melee those 35 zombies, leave the game, and then rejoin, and you'll be solid. Uh, when I was doing the MG42, I went from weapon level 0 to weapon level 42, I think it was, in just over 20 minutes, and then I went into multiplayer and started to grind some of those multiplayer camos there. You can go from level 0 to at least where I kind of stopped the XP grind at weapon level 40 in 20 minutes because the first, I would say, 20 levels go by in about 5 minutes of doing this strategy and then it starts to slow down a little and it gets a little bit more tedious and you level up a little bit slower because each level requires more XP. But once I hit that level 40, I just head into multiplayer and then I have six camo categories unlocked that I can work on as I level up the rest of the weapon. So it's pretty efficient. And for spending only 20 minutes doing this, it actually has helped me out a lot with the camo grind and the camo challenges. So take advantage of this as much as possible. Um, don't make dumb mistakes like me. Uh, sometimes if your brain goes on too much of an autopilot, you'll accidentally select one of the portals that sends you to a blitz or a transmission objective. So you want to stay, so you want to stay with the harvest objectives, but I accidentally went to a transmission objective once and I still got the 35 kills and then left the game, but the spawns are definitely a lot slower. The fastest maps I found for this for sure is Shinonuma and I guess Red Star, which is like the spawn map. Shinonuma and Red Star have really fast spawns spawns and then what's the map that i'm thinking of hotel royale when you go do a harvest at hotel royale the spawns are extremely slow so it's just rng of where it teleports you i luckily wasn't getting a lot of hotel royales i was getting a lot of red star and i guess like the barn mission from the campaign whatever with the windmill you guys will go there during the strategy and level up your weapons quite fast and frequently there 
I mean, you can't really do anything if it sends you to a place that's not as fast. Like, if you get sent to Hotel Royale, you might as well get your 35 kills, then leave game. Because if you leave game and just restart until you get, like, Shino, you're just going to waste so much more time and so much more XP. Uh, but thinking about this, once we actually get double weapon XP fixed and it starts tracking at its regular amounts at actual double XP rather than, like, 1.5 or, like, 1.15... Uh, double weapon XP tokens are going to be great for the strategy because we're going to get, I would say, like 4,000, 3,000 XP in like the one minute that you're in the game. For XP, for those wanting to use this strategy for operator XP or just normal standard level XP, this isn't the route to do that. You just want to play normal multiplayer to level up your operators or your personal level as fast as possible. This is strictly just for weapon XP, and since there's a double weapon XP weekend, a lot of people have been grinding this strategy and getting their weapons to max just by going into the game. And that's combined with just getting 35 eliminations of like the 10 zombies that spawn in the spawn room, and then going to the harvest and then finishing up 25 eliminations there. And one thing a lot of people might consider and might think about from Cold War, because this happened in Cold War, is if you go in with multiple players, more players means you get more XP per kill. And specifically with this strategy, it doesn't work like that. The spawns are slower in like the more people you have, the slower spawns seem to be because more people are killing the same amount of zombies that you would get in solo. So stick in solo if you and a couple friends want to grind it at the same time and make it feel like you're grinding it together. That's probably a, a chill way to do it. Just sit in Discord, hang out, grind some XP, and then uh, get your camos done. Anyway, it's the fastest way to level up weapons in the game right now. I've gotten three weapons to max level today. I think it's like, what, Sunday the 28th, and I woke up at like 10. It's now 1 p.m., and uh, I already have three weapons max level from scratch. So... And hopefully this helps you out as much as it helped out me and a lot of people that have been using the strategy. Anyway, about to head out. If there is one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.